Play is very important because it teaches children how to use their body. Um, it allows them to explore and do a whole lot of activities and movements that they wouldn't normally do. Part of my role at Kilparan is I'm the orientation and mobility teacher, so I teach uh, blind and vision impaired students how to catch buses, how to use public transport, how to access things like stairs and escalators. And coming to a playground like this where we have got lots of those concepts of up and down, uh, concepts around movement uh, are important and we can transfer a lot of the, the learning that's done here in the playground to getting on and off of a bus, uh, stepping on and off the escalator, sitting down into unusual spaces and going in and out of things is an important part that we can do here on the playground. A brief for uh, accessible play spaces is a bit like um, having a brief for a sustainable project. Sustainability is inherent now within all design projects that uh, we create. So regardless of ability or mobility, um, we ensure that our play spaces can accommodate uh, every individual and meet their needs. It's important for our children to be able to see other children learning uh, using the equipment because they can learn a lot by watching how other children uh, use the equipment. Um, so it's terrific to actually see a playground that's integrated where all the equipment for all sorts of children are, are in one space rather than have the mainstream playground and then a, a playground off to the side or a couple of swings off to the side for the children with disability. Uh, Zane's got a younger sister, Chloe's got a family um, and it's important for them to be able to come as a family and enjoy the whole space together and for everybody to be able to play, um, for Zane to see what his little sister does um, and use the slides and use the flying foxes and all that equipment together. That's a very important part of how children with disability will learn how to use it. They'll perhaps sit in that space when they come to it for the first time and watch what other children do and it encourages them to go forward and have an experiment and have a go. The icing on the cake is to be able to watch the children play and enjoy um, what we've created for them. They teach us something new every time we've created a play space. We're continually learning from them. Um, and it's so nice that um, we can learn as much uh, from them as, as hopefully that we can then teach them through learning to play in a safe and secure environment where they can manage and assess their own risks rather than us dictating and, and being risk adverse.